Okay, so today I want to look at um, Logic Pro's new update, Logic Pro 11, and it's got something in there called Stem Splitter. So I want to have a quick little look at that today and show you how you can use it as a learning tool. It's obviously got its um, you know benefits and stuff that you can pull vocals from a track and all that sort of thing and other other bits of elements within the track to use but i think it's also good as a bit of a learning tool as well so i've thrown in a track here that i'm currently working on it's not completely finished just yet um, but i'm just going to right click on it and i'm going to go to stem splitter it's in the processing here let's click stem splitter it gives you the options for vocal drums bass and other i'm going to just split them all because there is there isn't any like major main vocals in there so let's just hit split and let's see what it does to separate them um, and the reason why I think this is, is quite a good tool for learning is if you've got a professional track that you like the sound of, you can isolate elements and sort of see what the levels are like compared to the other elements that it's split into, it's split into place. So let's have a little look. I'll have, give you a little listen to the original track itself. It's muted it there. So let's just unmute that right now. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got vocals. So although there isn't any major main lead singing vocals in there, I'm not sure what that is. Let's remove that. Um, there is a little vocal chop. Let's, let's have a little look. And it's managed to pull it from it. It's not perfect. If I was to show you the actual original track and isolate that channel, it's not perfect. Um, let's listen to it all together, actually, compared. Before I go in this, let's have a listen to it all together compared to the actual original and see what the difference is. So you can see there, there's, there is a bit of a difference in there, sort of lacking in low end clarity. So let's have a little listen to the drums and stuff. You can also hear little tiny artifacts and other little tiny pieces of the track. Again, if I was to go in and listen to the drums on their own, little things that you wouldn't hear, but it is actually really pretty good. Um, let's listen to the bass. Yeah, see, again, the bass isn't quite as clear as it would be if I was to isolate it in the original project. A little got a little bit of crunch there, which I assume is from the transients of other parts of the tracks that is other parts of the track that it's picking up but it's relatively good in terms of being able to learn from it so we listen to for example the um kick and bass together you can start to play around with the levels of the, the track that you're listening to to start to learn from it you know like what is the relationship between the kick and the bass together? How do they sound? It's very hard when you're learning to produce trance. There's a lot going on sometimes in a track and being able to isolate those elements so that you can then um, use those parts to reference rather than the full track with everything else going on in there. It's going to make your life a little bit easier when you're using a reference track. Instead of using a reference track, use the stem splitted version so that you can isolate those sections much easier for learning. So let's have a little listen to some of the other elements. This has got other here. So this is just the synthy stuff I'd imagine. Again, far from perfect, but we can listen over here, for example, at the drop. Let's bring the drums in. So we can use these um to have a little look at how they're going to sound we could obviously pull the bass out and have a little listen to how the kick and lead sit together without being distracted by the bass we can have a listen to the bass with the lead to see how that sits with it as well Uh, 
Now, this track isn't perfectly mixed and stuff yet. I've just pulled in a track that I'm still working on, so there's still some tweaking and stuff like that to do. But it's a really good way to sort of reference differently when it comes to learning. So if, if you have checked it out yet already, let me know what you think of it. Um, obviously, as I said before, it's got its its perks for pulling stuff out of there. And obviously when you pull a stem out and put it in a mix, it's going to obviously not be as isolated as it is. And you're going to hide a little bit of those artifacts and stuff. It's not perfect, but it's its first go at doing it. And I think it's only probably going to get better. So although I've moved probably 90% over to Ableton now, uh, this is definitely something that I'll be coming back to, to, to use. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've used it what you're going to be using it for, what you think of the new Logic update. Uh, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon.